So basically what that means is that you just get a ridiculous pump in whatever you are training. and welcome back to the channel. In my last video, I mentioned that if you guys wanted a whole video based around blood flow restriction training, uh, to DM me on Instagram or to let me know down in the comments, and that's exactly what you guys did, so I am here to deliver. In this video, I'll be talking and just explaining to you guys what blood flow restriction training is, um, what it does, and why it's useful. I'll try to go into the science uh, just a little bit. I don't want to get too deep into it because it can get a little bit confusing. Uh, and then also just how to implement it uh, into your workout routines if you guys have some sort of injury or you're simply just looking uh, to make one of your, you know, your arms or your legs more impressive. So yeah, let's just get into this. So I began blood flow restriction training because I started to struggle with knee pain uh, about three months ago. Uh, now I figured out what the cause of my knee pain uh, was and it's getting a lot better. Uh, I've been able to pretty much bring it up to 100% I would say. Uh, but the cause of my knee pain, uh, it was very, very individual. So basically what happened is about four months ago, I decided to switch from wearing tennis shoes uh, that had my orthotics or my super feet in them and switch to just wearing completely flat soled shoes. Um, and I basically didn't take into account just how much my orthotics uh, supported the arches in my feet uh, and so when I made the switch over to flat soled shoes after a while I started to get a pain uh, around my medial meniscus which is a little bit to the right of your patella tendon when I would do any sort of weighted leg exercise squats Bulgarian split squats any exercise that involved uh, the knee tracking far over the toes I would get a lot of insecurity and discomfort and even even like sharp stabs of pain on the inside of my knee. And so I ended up going to physical therapy to try to figure out exactly what was causing this problem because obviously I didn't know at the time. And my physical therapist told me about this style of training called blood flow restriction. So he taught me how to do it. I started looking into it and I performed it. I've been performing it for about the past three months. And I feel that my legs have really just maintained their size and maybe even gotten a little bit bigger and that's without doing a ton of the exercises that I normally do uh, for building my legs like squats, uh, leg press, Bulgarian split squats, just all of those exercises. I, it was very, very difficult for me to do whenever I would squat and get anywhere below the 90 degree range. Uh, that's when my knee pain would kick in. But I switched back to using my orthotics for the past couple weeks now and the pain is almost completely gone. But I wanted to just relay this information to you guys just in case you guys are struggling with any sort of elbow pain uh, or knee pain. Th this can just it, it can help so incredibly much. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what blood flow restriction training is. So basically, when you take a blood flow occlusion band and you wrap it around your either your legs or your arms, what it's going to cause is it's going to cause a lot of blood pooling. I put it up as far up your leg as possible. <sighs> And then if you zoom in on this right here, so you can see I'm doing it at a level four. And the lower the number gets, the more <coughs> occlusion that occurs. Right. So once again, just as far up your leg as possible. This. And then get it all the way to four, just like that. Ah. Kind of looks like a dork. 
<laughs> the blood will be entering your extremity, but it will not be able to leave. Of course, you aren't being able to cut off all blood circulation, but you are doing quite a bit. So basically what that means is that you just get a ridiculous pump in whatever you are training. This blood pooling causes cell swelling, which actually results in muscle hypertrophy and the increase of mechanical tension during the movements that you're performing. And with this increase in mechanical tension, you are also activating myogenic cells, which are sending the signal to repair damaged muscle as well as build new muscle. Studies have also shown that you get a large influx of growth hormone into the extremity that you are blocking off. And while growth hormone itself does not build muscle, it seriously helps in repairing muscle damage when it is done. So you can see why that would have a very, very large effect when you are trying to, you know, grow your muscles. They're repairing a lot faster through this technique. So when you're doing any sort of resistance training, it actually results in the compression of the blood vessels of whatever muscle that you're training. What this creates is called a hypoxic environment. And what that means is that the amount of oxygen that is being sent to the muscle is being dramatically reduced. Basically what blood flow restriction training does is it switches that hypoxic environment into hyperdrive. Your muscles burn so bad. And basically what this allows you to do is to put a very, very similar amount of mechanical tension on the muscles that you are trying to train with a far lighter load. So basically what you can do is drop the weight, resulting in a lot less strain on your tendons, ligaments, and joints while still maintaining the hypertrophy effects of heavy resistance training. If you guys didn't understand any of that, basically what it means is that you can build bigger muscles a lot easier using a lot less weight. When I perform the blood flow restriction with my physical therapist, he would actually measure the amount of blood flow restriction that was occurring in my legs. But since a lot of us don't have access to the tools that you need to be able to do that, what I would seriously recommend is trying to take a progressive overload approach when it comes to this type of training. So you want to stay within the rep ranges about 15 to 30 reps. So very high reps in about the 20 to 30% of your one rep max range. You want to use short rest intervals between 30 and 45 seconds. So I would seriously recommend starting off fairly loose. Don't go ridiculously tight uh, your first time uh, doing blood flow restriction training. You kind of want to ease yourself into it just so that you know what to expect. So on a scale from zero to about 10, what you want to shoot for is about the seven range of tightness. My favorite exercises to do this with uh, was quad extensions, hamstring curls, and I would also do Smith machine box squats. So since I struggled with knee pain, as soon as I'd get down around uh, 90 degrees or parallel, uh, I would set up a box that was fairly high and I would focus on just going down, touching my ass to the box and then going back up. But depending on how severe your pain or your injury is, you can perform a lot of different exercises with these on. And I would recommend trying to do this around three times a week. And what I really like to do with this is keep them on for periods of about 20 minutes and then let them go perform a set of the exercise uh, that I was just doing without them on and then wait a little while and then strap them back on and go at it again. This type of training was just an absolute lifesaver while I was really struggling with my knee pain, guys. I'd also seriously recommend it if you guys struggle uh, with elbow pain as well that you think is due to like overuse. What you can do is you can put these things on, train with extremely light weight, and not only will you probably end up recovering a lot faster, but your elbows won't experience nearly the same amount of strain. This type of training has been shown to increase muscle and strength, but I just wanted to give you guys just a little bit of an overview um, as to what my training looked like with these. Um, you really have to be your own judge when it comes to uh, how intense uh, that you want to train. These bands do really add to that sort of that pain factor that you usually feel in your last like two reps. You'll probably feel it in your last 
15 reps and it's like it can get very uncomfortable and extremely painful and this is coming from a guy uh, that's been lifting for years and I, I love that feeling but sometimes it can be a little bit much and it can actually, it can, it can start to overwhelm you. If you have any sort of blood clotting disorders or low or high blood pressure, be sure to check with your doctor before you do this or do your own research. It's not 100% safe for everybody. So be smart with this type of training, guys. If you start to feel extremely fatigued or lightheaded or anything like that, you need to be able to gauge when to say enough is enough. Do your own research, train safely, and I hope this video helps a lot of you guys out. Going forward, I will probably continue to use blood flow restriction training even though my knee is definitely on the mend. Thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video. If you guys need easily customizable workout programs that are already put together for you, be sure to head over to brandonclarkfitness.com Check out my full body workout routine, my eight day super split, as well as my push pull legs program. Thank you guys so much for all the support that you guys have been giving me recently. It just, it means so much. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys all in the next video.